Now, number two on the card then looks like, looks like a fascinating match. Make his professional debut at the age of 32, Keith Marner from Bracknell in the black, facing us against a man on a comeback, Ronnie Shinquin from Boreham Wood. And Marner, former home counties champion as an amateur in season 91-92. Ronnie Shinquin, I think, also won that a few years before, though. So Marner, the southpaw in the black. Reputation's being strong and durable. Shinquin, though, nice fighter. Good boxer, fair puncher, and durable too. Although we might have the odd problem with cuts. Last time I saw him was stopped in the five rounds, I think, by Ray Newby. In a cracking fight, he won the first four. Six rounds, this in the light welterweight division. And uh, very late for a man to be making his pro start. 32. And so far, Marlon not looking at all bad. Marner looks like he knows how to close the gap. Because Shinquin's slightly taller and rangier. Yep, looked a bit low. How many fighters have trouble facing southpaws? It looks like Ronnie just might here. Yeah? Marlon looking pretty sharp. Nice body shot from Shinkman. Nice left hook back from Marlon. Not a great deal in this first round, but so far I think Keith Marlon has got the edge. Reasonable counter puncher as well, Marner. And he can also box going forward, so that's uh, very useful. And Shikman always needs to keep moving to his own left. And that's the opening round, I feel, for Keith Marner. He gets the first round he's had as a pro in public. And in that 91-92 season where Marner won the home county, he's also got the quarterfinals of the ABAs. And Shinko's record stands at 37 fights, 15 wins, 19 losses and 3 draws. Fought some good men, beat him as well. Beat him with the likes of Dean... Sorry, Danny Cooper, Chris Saunders, Carl Hook, Tony Swift, and also Paul Seddon. <laughs> So, a lot more action to come here, I feel. First round out of the way. Keith Marner, managed by Billy Ball. Ronnie Shinkman with Johnny Barkley. Round two, then. Ronnie Shinkman in the red, white and blue. A round behind after one. And I must admit, Marner looks like he's got a bit of savvy. I see the counter punch right. And again. And Ronnie Schinken might just have to adopt a tear away style here because uh, standing off, he's getting picked off. And he can always counter punch the counter puncher. That's a pretty sound. Investment, I would suggest. So it looks like Shikin's picking it up. Good right from him. So, a battle of, battle of two former uncountless champions here. Nice double left, back from Marner. Marner, well muscled, in good shape. Been preparing long and hard for this 32 years, in fact. It's a better round for Ronnie, but uh, I don't think he's winning it. A couple of stiff rights. 
assist there from Shinkman, and that might just suit him to turn to Southpaw. Lace on Marner's glove. He's retying. resumes in the second round there's not a lot left now half a minute or so it looks like Marner is stealing this one yep and uh, Ronnie Schinken looking a bit uncomfortable out there facing a counter punch in Southport three then and we need a change of tactics I think by Ronnie Schinkman to come to terms with Keith Marner who I think has won the first couple of rounds and now Marner comes out orthodox left hand forward so whatever plan Schinkman may have had of dealing with uh, Marner for this third round and suddenly Marner switches back to South Fork. Very tricky and capable. Looks like a seasoned old pro, and this is only his first pro fight. Uh, Shinquin does need to start throwing some punches, that's for sure. Difficult, though, against the counter puncher. He's always prepared to come back at you with something else. It's a pretty mature performance from a mature man. You can't have too many years in him as a pro. Looks like he's going to win a few. So Shinkman now needing to try and crowd Keith Marner, prevent him from getting these nice looking counter punches home. Footwork there from the Bracknell man. Oh, big left. Now, Marley going forward. Shinkman at the moment just chasing shadows. And around for Marner. Would be owned up in Port Granada, 2.8 Pierre Estate. Registration FOM77X. Please move it as it's causing an obstruction. Thank you. stage then. Round four of the schedule six. And, uh, this is not beyond Ronnie Schenkman, but uh, I must admit, as the rounds go by, looking less and less likely. Uh, 
and Shinko will need three big rounds here for a draw. Might just have left his effort a bit too late. Needs to throw punches. Marner cleverly stealing. But uh, like, as I said before, many debutants, we've seen them fade at half weight. But I think uh, Marner a bit too smart for that tactic. Hasn't wasted a lot. And there's nothing more tiring than being hit or missing when you're throwing a punch. I suppose we can uh, forgive Ronnie Shinkman somewhat because, as I say, he's been inactive for some time, about a year now. the impression that Marner allowed Shinkman to do that. And Ronnie's had some tremendous fights in the past with some good men. Nice jab. It looks like Ronnie might just be looking for a payoff here, but I'm not too sure it's going to count. Too well. Happy punch in the book. Oh, nice left. Oh, another round then for Keith Marner. So Ronnie Shinkman cannot win on points. <laughs> in my opinion. to look down in round five. And this has been a pretty impressive performance by Keith Marner, who I must admit I thought would be up against it here in the shape of Ronnie Shinkman. But uh, it's not proved to be. And I'm just wondering if that might be a mistake by Marner to get involved with Ronnie Shinkman, who's tough. Marner doing okay when he's boxing. Doesn't need to get involved. And that's probably what Ronnie would like. And now, of course, Shinquin is liable to make mistakes in his desperation and get picked off. And just is not throwing enough punches. Appreciated by the referee or some members of the crowd. Oh, nice one from Shinquin. Best punch he's landed all night. Basically, he's been outboxed and uh, punched by Keith Marner, and uh, on occasion out fought too. But whilst there's a round left, there's hope for Shinquin. Looks like Marner has been in complete control. And although he's left it rather late to turn professional, looks like he could uh, go on to achieve a few significant wins.
sixth and final round then, and this looks like a superb professional debut for Keith Marnock. If he can only stand up other for the last couple of minutes. But Ronnie Shinkwin, if ever he needed a stoppage win, it's now. Can he get it? I don't think Marnock's going to give him the opportunity, personally. But that's exactly what Ronnie Shinkwin needs. The old proverbial knockout to win. I must admit, Keith Liner has surprised me somewhat. Good combinations from Liner. be easier for Keith Marner because he's had to be alert at all times. <laughs> this is exactly what uh, Ronnie Shinkin wanted, but Marner rides the storm, comes back, and Shinkin here planting a kiss on Marner's cheek. <laughs> and Ronnie never been a devastating hitter. Respectable, yes, but... Uh, He's the big one here. And this looked like being an interesting contest when it started. And it's uh, lived up to that. Oh, big left. Marla now possibly just coming to the end of his tether as far as his fitness is concerned for this one. Not punching with the same kind of snap. And although Ronnie Shinkman had a good burst of action in this final round, he's not going to get even a share of it, I don't think. Looks like a clear cut. This is win for Keith Marner. Yep, as we suspected. Well, I didn't give a round against him. 60-57 on my card. Well, a comeback then for Ronnie Shinkman, but not a successful one, but a successful professional debut for Keith Marner. And he boxed exceptionally well. As I say, I've got that 60-57 in favour of Keith Marner. That's six rounds to zero. And Shinkman tried hard, but just could never close the gap. See how referee McDonald has it. Nice job. Well, it didn't give a round against him. Again, Shinkman, a share of two of those. So four rounds to zero with two even in favour of Keith Marner. Yeah, he tried Ronnie Shinkman, but uh, I think he's possibly a bit blunt from his layoff. Well, he'll do better than that in the future, I'm sure.